Thank you, Mike. We'll now take questions from the media. If you can identify yourself and your organization, and uh, we'll take the first one. Our first question will be from Jim Morrill, Charlotte Observer. Hey, thank you, and thank you, Governor. Um, first, I want to ask you what your reaction was to the president's tweets about the convention yesterday. And secondly, when do you think you might be able to give him the assurances that he asked for? And what would you need to know to make that decision? I'm not surprised by anything that I see on Twitter. I will say that it's okay for political conventions to be political, but pandemic response cannot be. Already, we've been in talks with the RNC about the kind of convention that they would need to run and the kind of options that we need on the table. We're talking about something that's going to happen three months from now, and we don't know what our situation is going to be regarding COVID-19 in North Carolina. These are the same kind of conversations that we're having with the Carolina Panthers, the Charlotte Hornets, other large arena owners. Everybody wants to get back into action soon, but I think everybody knows that we have to take some steps to make sure that people are protected because this virus is still going to be with us in August and we're going to have to take uh, steps to protect people. We have asked the RNC to present to us in writing their proposals. Uh, we've had discussions with them about a very limited convention all the way up and we want to see in writing what their plans are. We asked NASCAR to do the very same thing, and NASCAR did a good job this weekend of executing their plan of face coverings, of social distancing, signage, cleaning. We want to see from the RNC what their plans are, and we have asked them to submit those plans to our public health officials uh, they have someone hired to to advise them as well. And we look forward to the back and forth on that. We'd like to reach a resolution that everybody can be reasonable about that puts public health, safety, the science, and the facts as the number one thing we're trying to do here. So we look forward to those continued conversations. Next question. 